Okay, so we have finished um, uh, imaging our SSD card. We got our Raspberry Pi, which is a, a I believe this is a Raspberry Pi 3, okay? Uh, we have our uh, power adapter. Um, I'm using a kind of a generic power adapter, but it's got this U, uh, USB end on it. <clears throat> I'm forgetting what type of USB it is. It's the old style Android USB before it's used USB-C. Uh, it has a minimum uh, power requirement of uh, 2.5 amps at five volts. Okay, that's what they say. It is uh, Raspberry Pi Zero, you can get away with one amp. Um, and then I believe the four goes up to three amps. So you have to be careful getting your, um, getting your power adapter. Okay, so we got our power adapter. <clears throat> and then there really is no way to get the Raspberry Pi started off the bat and get connected to it without first hooking up to a screen. Okay, so you're gonna need uh, a screen, which I have, um, which is off camera right now, but you're gonna need an HDMI uh, screen that has an HDMI input with an HDMI cord to hook up to the Raspberry Pi. You're gonna need a keyboard, which is here, USB keyboard, and then a USB, whoops, a USB mouse, right? Okay, so all of those things you're gonna need just to get started on this, okay? And our, our goal, here uh, is to, <clears throat> our goal is to hook the Raspberry Pi up to the network and find out its IP address, okay? So that's our ultimate goal here, all right? And then finally, what I didn't mention is you also are gonna need a, um, uh, I'm forgetting all my names, RJ45 connector. It's a standard uh, network cable, right? But a lot of people aren't familiar with these these days with all the wireless, so. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. All right, so basically you have your, uh, you probably use an adapter to image your uh, SD card. So you're gonna take that out of the adapter. Uh, on the Raspberry Pi, you're gonna turn it over and go ahead and put in the, um, it's, I always get it the wrong way, but that's, it only fits one way. So basically you're gonna get the, get the SD card in. Uh, a word of warning on these SD cards. It's really easy to corrupt these SD cards because basically if you just unplug the power, uh, like you think you just plug it in for a second, you think it's going okay, then you just unplug it for some reason. Yeah, don't do that. So if you if you plug it in, let it run for a little while, um, and there's a red light that you'll see once we turn it on. Um, you wanna kinda have everything plugged in before you turn it on. Uh, and the reason for this is that <clears throat> as it gets set up, there's some setup that has to be done with like the USB inputs and stuff. And it's best to have all that in and on before you put the power on, okay? So uh, just because the, the operating system is gonna be getting you know set up, okay? So I was kind of doing this as I was talking. So basically we have uh, two USB inputs, our mouse and our, um, our um, uh, keyboard. Then we have our HDMI cable. Okay, so that's our HDMI cable, goes right there. Uh, and then we have an RJ45 connector, which is also gonna go in the end here. Okay, and you just snap it right in. Hopefully you got a good quality one. This one that I'm using is a little bit dirty. Okay, so, and there we have it. So there it's all connected. And then we're finally gonna power on, okay? Uh, and so basically we have, uh, I'm just gonna turn it around here. Lost my power connector, there it is. Okay, so, and then finally, this, uh, this power connector right here is where you're gonna turn, plug it in. I already have the power, the, uh, the USB power connector uh, already plugged in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in, and you'll see that it'll, you'll see a red light now when I plug in the uh, power. Okay, so now what we're looking at is we're looking at these green and red lights, okay? Also, when I turned it on, the screen that I have it plugged into, which I'm gonna pan up to here, the screen that I have it plugged into is now gonna to start to power on, okay? And this is what you wanna see, all right? So, so basically it's gonna, it's pretty fast boot up, I think. Um, uh, it, it's at this point, say if you didn't have the right uh, power adapter, something like that, it's at this point that you would, uh, you would then, um, uh, it would give you that error message. Um, okay, but if you get to the desktop like this, you're good to go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click next. Um, next. Um, I'm just gonna not enter a password. Okay, but take note the default user Pi account currently has 
password Raspberry. It is strongly recommended you change this to a different password that only you know, okay? So it's really important that you remember this because as soon as we start working on this, you're gonna have to have a root password. That means in, in, in Linux, so Raspberry is a type of Linux, that's the operating system we're on. Um, it's a, it's a, deriv it's a, um, it's kind of a flavor of the Debian, uh, Debian system, I believe, I, I think, because we use apt for, to get the packages. So, so, uh, okay. So in this case, I'm not going to change the password, but you, you might want to, but write it down. <laughs> I always misspell raspberry too. All right. So, okay. So there we go. I'm just going to go, um, Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize this had wireless wireless capability. So, um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead um, and not hook this up to wireless right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip it because your Raspberry Pi may or may not have wireless, all right? Uh, we are gonna go ahead and update the software, so we're gonna go ahead and click Next. Um, this is a graphical uh, updater. Okay. And then we can also check, <clears throat> so notice up here we have Bluetooth, we have, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and turn off the wireless LAN for right now. Okay. Um, by the way, if you have wireless, just use the wireless. So. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just get the IP address now that we have this all set up. So we're going to click on the terminal. clicked on the terminal. There we go. Okay. And what you're going to type in here, uh, is I F config, I F C O N config. Um, I think it's dash all. Whoops. <laughs> I, I mistyped control C will get you out of that. So I F config and then dash all and enter. I always forget. Okay, so it's dash A, not dash all. Okay, so here we go. Um, and now if we scroll back up here, so this is the, these are all our network adapters. So notice that I have an ethernet plugged in. Okay, so right now my, my ethernet address is 1070.89.23, okay? So that is what you need to write down. So at this point, you need to get a piece of paper and go ahead and write down your IP address. And let's go ahead and do the wireless also, just, just in case that's you'd rather use that. Um, I would definitely rather use wireless, so uh, it's just a lot easier, but it's also uh, less um, reliable. So if you are looking for reliable, uh, like you just want the thing to run all the time, no matter what, use a network connector, use a network cable. Uh, okay, so um, let's go ahead and just, just go ahead and turn on the wireless and connect to a network. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and connect to a wireless network here. It'll be maybe interesting to see the change. Okay, so I'm now connected. All right, and now I'm back in the terminal. I'm gonna cl click the up arrow to get my previous command. Another, um, another really good thing to know on this is control R to search history and then I can search my other commands. Remember my IF config all was incorrect. Uh, it was IF, IF config dash A and then enter. Okay, so now I can also connect on wireless LAN. Okay, now on the wireless LAN, uh, it's 192. In this case, you know, it's both of these are really common IP addresses for, for, uh, 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 for local area networks. So this, so this, these two addresses though, remember that you're gonna have to be, say you're at, a, say you're at your house or you're at your work and you plug this into the wall, okay? You're gonna need to be in the same building probably or at least behind the same firewall to get this, okay? So this is not a public IP address and neither is this. So it's not like you could go to another location, like you can't go to the Starbucks down the street and type in 1070 and expect to connect to this to your Raspberry Pi. 
Okay, so you have to be connected to the same wireless network. So for example, if I wanted to connect here, I would have to connect to engineer in order to, uh, in order to connect via this IP address, okay? Or I would have to be plugged into the same network in order to, to, uh, to um, connect via that IP address, okay? All right, so that's about it. So we've kind of gotten our, uh, we've gotten uh, to our goal here. We basically have the Raspberry Pi. We have it. Uh, we have we've taken our imaged SSD. We've plugged uh, that in. We plugged all our we've plugged all our peripherals in. We plugged our network connection in. We powered it on and gotten to a desktop. And then we've used ifconfig A. We use ifconfig A to find our uh, IP address. Okay. Um, one last uh, thing. I just want to reiterate the same exact thing I said earlier. Um, do not, under any circumstances, just pull out the, uh, the uh, power cable. That's the easiest way to, to get into a situation where you're going to have to re-image the, the SSD. Is it, is it going to break the Raspberry Pi? No, it's not. It's going to waste all of your time because you're going to have to re-image the SSD and redo all of the work that you've done. So, yeah, so please shut it down properly. So basically, you can go. There are a couple ways to do it. Go to the Raspberry Pi menu and click Shutdown. Uh, you can also go to the uh, to the terminal and just do a, a reboot. Oh, I even did it wrong. Use the menu. <laughs> okay. Uh, best of luck.